Hi, welcome to Camisal Technologies YouTube channel and in this exciting video, we will be seeing about the combination of Atom Television Studio 4K8 and the Studio Camera 6K Pro. Now this kind of workflow will work on all the Atom Television series and our Blackmagic Design cameras. For demonstration purpose, I have a Studio Camera 6K Pro and Atom Television Studio 4K8. So let's get started. <music> So first off, this camera is powered up by an Ethernet function. So you can see the Ethernet cable going out and coming to a studio converter over here. And this studio com converter is powering the camera with a single Ethernet, taking the tally talkback CCU functions in a single cable. And from here, you will get the traditional SDI workflow. And as you can see in the top of the camera, you have the tally functions. So it, it also comes with uh, green tally and red tally if it is going on air. And that this switcher's SDI output is converted into HDMI and converted to the monitor for the viewing and demonstration purpose. You can see the feed of the camera right now and this palette is what we are going to talk about right now. First of all with the soft buttons there is an option for solo so which means you can hear only this particular track via the headphone. So first when you hit audio follow video whenever the camera is on air it will follow the audio. So for example if I move towards this this is going off air. And if I come over here again, it is coming on air. So it is an audio follow video. If the program, if that particular camera is going on air, this audio follow video will work. And if I switch, it is going on, which means even if I switch the camera, you are going to get it is always on and it will come into the PGM. So it applies for all the cameras. So what in particular we are going to see in this content is about the camera control. So I can hit the camera button over here, you can see the camera button and you get whole lot of things available just popping up in this switcher. So first thing is you need to select which camera you want to work and you can see in the top corner which camera you are selecting. Let's say I'm going to select the camera one which is from the studio camera and we have three different menus here so we can go one by one. So first is iris. So you can control your iris from your switcher. You can see the camera working around here in the switcher. So I can control the iris and the iris information is also displayed in, in this particular area. So you can see the iris, then you can see the pedestal, you can increase decrease the pedestal and you can increase decrease again from the switcher itself. And zooming function, unfortunately I don't have the lens to show you the zooming function. but uh, if there is a possibility, I will try to show that as well. So now we are going to focus. I am going to just select the focus knob and you can see I am able to focus and defocus the subject just like that. So that is the biggest advantage of the switcher. And we have our traditional offset controls, offset white, offset red, offset green and offset blue. So if I want more red, I can add more red. I, if I want to remove red, I can remove red. Same goes for green, if I want to remove green. I can remove, if I want to add blue or remove blue, I can do that as well from, from here. So this is one set of settings. So second, I'm going here. So you can see there are a lift gamma gain like you see in DaVinci Resolve. And in the green area, you are seeing these two buttons, small two buttons. That is nothing but a second menu. So if you hit the Alt button over here, so this will enable the whites. So whites for lift, gamma and gain. So you can control the entire camera from here. So let's say I'm going to choose the red. I can increase the red, I can increase the green. So same goes for lift gamma again. So I don't want to go into each and every detail here. So I can come to the third third menu. Again I have contrast. Contrast you can increase the contrast, decrease the contrast, white balance you can change your white balance from here and uh, you can reset if it's something goes wrong just like that by pressing the button. You can increase the saturation or decrease the saturation completely. Again, you can reset, Luma Mix, Hue and the best interesting part with this camera is you can also change the ND filter from here. So this is pretty exciting. So right now we don't have exact uh, bright brightening thing. So it is a uh, digital ND so you can control the ND from here as well. Yeah. And then uh, there is shutter. So you can change the shutter from here itself. So now you can see the flicker and if I go to 60, 30, the flicker is gone. And there is another thing, if you press the Alt, you will see the diff different functions over here. So for example, in white balance area, you will be seeing the tint and in contrast area, you will be seeing the pivot 
and in the ND filter area you will be seeing the detail so how much detail you want you can increase the detail so I hope you get an idea about how Blackmagic switches and uh, studio cameras or any Blackmagic design broadcasting cameras can work together to make your controls very easy and with this switcher you have a dedicated panel you don't need to go for an external CCU panel or uh, a laptop control so this controls comes in handy for a quick corrections and that is all about this video and if, so if you have any questions or doubts you can always leave a comment we will try to help you out.